Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Excalibur Roundtable Tech Talk. This is part of our extended Tech Talk series with our friends at Halo. I'm joined today by Tom Petley from Halo. Tom, thanks for joining me today. Hi, Mike. Thanks for having me, as always. Yes, and and and, and so we're, we're, we we decided we wanted to get together and talk about, uh, you know, kind of keep people updated on some of the new features that are coming that have come to Halo. Um, you guys are constantly innovating, constantly adding new features. Um, and for, for the audience out there, uh, you can go to uh, Halo's website and actually see the roadmap and, and some of these, fe these features that are out there. It's right there on their website. Uh, but one of the things we wanted to highlight, because it's something that comes up quite a bit, is translations from one language to another. Uh, many uh, of our customers um, have multilingual um, uh, needs. Uh, have uh, you know the need to communicate with folks in different languages, um, and that's a, a new feature that has come to Halo recently. Yeah, it's something that we've we've always had the ability, not always, but for a long time, we've had the ability to display. I'm going to call it static um, static text in different language. So the self service portal, for example, you could always translate all the all the buttons and all the forms and things like that into different languages, um, and that was always a it was a really key point. That's why we kind of did it first, I guess. Um, so you could have an English portal, a French portal, a Spanish portal, whatever it, whatever it might be. Uh, but what we didn't have for a while is the ability to translate the text that's written in. So either the text that's written in on when someone's logging a ticket on the portal, so maybe the details of the um, mm -hmm. of the incident, um, or maybe the email they write in, the the actual body of the email, kind of the ability to translate that. So the kind of more dynamic text and such. Um, but I was going to share my screen today, if that's okay, mate. Um, Absolutely, it'd be fantastic. Just, just show you a very, very, it's a very basic example, to be honest. Um, but it's it just shows you the power of the new integration. Um, so I've just got an example set up here, um, where in this case it's just an example of an email that's come in or something from the portal where um, I'm an English speaker. Um, I'm say part of the service desk, and I maybe don't speak French. Um, I've got this French update coming from the user. And what we've added in is this ability here to have this translation button. All we do is click that and it's going to translate this for us. And you'll see here, it's just translated that all across to English for me. Um, so we've got all this English text here. And if I want to toggle back to the original one, I just hit this button here and I just toggle straight back. Um, so you can always see the original language and then kind of the translation that we've got here. So really, really almost basic, um, but it's it's using that power of that kind of automated translation behind the scenes, which is it's basically going to give the service desk person just an instant um, kind of translation of what, what the user is saying. And um, it saves kind of going, leaving the system to try and translate or having native speakers necessarily on that service desk. Um, it's a very basic example there, but I hope you can see the the power of that kind of new, new feature and I'm sure it's going to go down very, very well with kind of those multilingual customers that we have. Oh, oh, absolutely. I mean, that, that, that always is, is one of the challenges. I mean, we can translate the static stuff, which is easy enough for us to display and, hey, I've got my language set, you know, uh, uh, in, in my interface set to English. So I see the English, you know, yep. uh, nature of that because the things are static uh, and able to come over. It's when you get into descriptions um, uh, of issues or you get into uh, emails. Um, where that can certainly be a challenge. Um, and as we know, we could copy and paste it into some you know, Google Translate if we wanted to, um, but now we're copying and pasting um, and trying to, 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 to look at multiple things at once and understand what's going on and to have that built in. So literally, as you showed at the click of a button, <laughs> click of um, you know, I, I, I can read it. As we know, the translators are not perfect. You know, they're not uh, Star Trek Universal translators where we hear it <coughs> exactly as it's supposed to be. But um, the translation, what I've always found, is close enough that you can easily glean all the context that you need. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I think about some of the forums that I participate in, uh, and folks will uh, – typically English is the common language – uh, uh, in many of these forums, and people will usually apologize at the beginning. English isn't my, fir my, my, my first language. Um, and, you know, for somebody who's an English teacher, um, you, you know, you, you'll be able to pick out certain idiosyncrasies based on the way, um, you know, their, their first language uh, might be. Um, 
but certainly when when you read it you can you can clean all of the context that you need um and, and understand exactly uh what they're trying to say um and so I, I think that's pretty cool. Uh, really, and as you showed, it's a click of a button, and it's not re rewriting it. It's giving you the translation, mm -hmm. the original text is still maintained. Exactly. Um, yeah. And 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 that uh, you know that brings a, p a powerful feature. I, I'm excited to see. I, I, I I'm not going to let the cat out of the bag just yet. <laughs> There's. There's more new things uh, coming to Halo, um, and uh, as as we said, you know, mm -hmm. right on the website there, it gives the roadmap of of, of what's up, upcoming as 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 you know, minor and or major features um, to the Halo platform. Uh, and we've talked about before from an upgrade perspective, you know, customers have that ability to decide uh, when their uh, when their Halo system is going to be upgraded um, to that next uh, release, um, and you know, can, can take advantage of things like this, which may be part of a of a monthly release um, versus the more major quarterly releases. Yeah, certainly. This is just this is actually being released in ten days. This feature, um, so it's going to be well, it's available now, but we're going to be pushing out uh, to our customers in kind of around ten days. So um, it's something that yeah, it's, we like to talk about things. Where possible, that we can actually customers can take away and actually start using. Because if you you kind of end up starting to talk too far as the future, it becomes something that's um, everyone gets excited about and then has to wait three months. <laughs> right. So right. We try to right. keep it quite quite kind of current and uh, the things we talk about. Yeah. So it, it, it's fantastic, and it's always exciting to see the things you guys are doing there at Halo uh, and in innovating the platform. Um, and, and constantly bringing new features to the forefront. Tom, thanks for joining me today and for sharing um, this new feature.